Hello, the game is Valheim. And in this video, I would just like to make a quick one, just kind of helping out new players, uh, showing you how to get fire and cooking stations inside of your shelter. Uh, nice and easy, nothing elaborate, nothing crazy, just a nice easy way of doing it. It doesn't cost a lot of materials. So um, if you haven't played the game, I'll just quickly go over the thought process. Minor spoilers, there's no big spoilers here. Uh, you'll figure this out probably within the first hour of your gameplay. But you need to craft a fire station, um, a campfire, right? And you can only put these on uh, dirt. You cannot go into your house and put these on a floorboard. So you, you end up just going, ah, I need to cook something, I'm hungry. And you put it down, and then you end up going to the cooking station and you have to put the cooking station over top of the campfire and then you got two hooks that you can put some meat on it and you know in about 10 seconds the meat cooks you pull it off you can overcook your meat by the way and turn it into charcoal which can be helpful before you get uh, some later things that deal with smelting uh, but just keep that in mind burning your food will produce uh, charcoal which can be helpful later when you're getting going Anyway, um, so yeah, and then it started raining one time when I was really hungry, and the fire goes out when the rain hits it, so you can't cook outside while it's raining. So I was like, okay, well, let me, can't put it inside, can't have to have it outside, so I just built a small shelter around it, and a small roof. Obviously, the smoke then went into my face and started choking me, but I made do, you know, I just put the meat in and ran out, put the meat in, took it out, and, you know, but that was a hassle. And then I noticed that I had a fire buff, see that fire buff? That's a benefit. I wanted that on me when I was in my house working in my bench and stuff like that. So um, I got rid of my outside cookhouse and tried to figure out a way of putting this inside. And this is kind of the system I came up with here. Um, I put fire and I double stacked the meat hooks. You can double stack them and they work fine. Um, they actually stack right on top of each other. I do not believe I have them. Yeah, they're stacked on top of each other. I don't think I was able to do three. Regardless, I didn't need three. Let's see. Yeah, see, there's structure. See how that is green? That means it's structurally structurally sound when it's green like that. Um, so you can stack them on top. I guess I could probably put that there. No, nah, so you can only do two high. So only two high, but I found that having two of them was plenty. I can cook like a whole stack of uh, meat and pretty quick. So you might be wondering, so okay, so how do you got your fireplace sitting there, right, inside your house? Well, that's the, uh, that's just a little trick. Uh, basically, you measure out, or you raise the ground, here, let me kind of do it. You raise the ground to a point where um, it's going to look like it's on your floorboards. You can actually put a floorboard over the fire, under the fireplace, like so. Let me, let me see. See how it'll clip through it, right? So basically, in my in my case, what I did was I just came over to this side of my house and I raised the ground up to where it was just at the floorboards, and then I put I placed the fire pit down, and then I just lowered it down one. It didn't destroy the fire pit, pit the fireplace or the fire pit when I lowered the ground, so you can raise and level the ground. So I leveled it one time, which just sunk it just below where the floorboard would be and still kept the uh, fire pit where it was. So it has ground under it, it's just a little offset, and then when I put my board down, it looks nice and flush. It takes a little bit of fiddling around, but it's, it's not that hard to do at all. Um, the thing is, do you realize that you can do that, and then that's it. So it's pretty simple, and you don't have to have it perfect, but, you know, that's all you gotta do. You know, and then, like, if the... If the if the ground's still sticking up, covering part of your board, just stand on the board, because when you level it, it goes based off of uh, where you're standing. And then just level it down, you know? And then that's all you gotta do. I think I'm max. Oh, jeez. Ah <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so that's also why I have these little pillars here, uh, just to keep me from walking into the fire just like a visual reminder of don't walk into the fire 
But that's it. Pretty pretty simple method. Um, now the smoke. Here's a nice little way, or the best way I could come up with, the, uh, to vent your smoke out. I just got a nice little four by whatever. I can make this as long as I want. Um, I made it four. You can go five and then kind of do like a middle piece. Um, or you could probably you could probably go even six if you wanted an even wider uh, cabin. But you know, when I was starting out, I'm just starting, and I don't have a lot of wood, and I don't feel like spending all that time chopping wood. So I just made a four, and I figured I can go long. Um, but basically, all you do is offset your um, your roof tiles. So as you can see, the smoke goes up. It's like uh, it has a flow. It just goes up, and then it'll flow up, and then it just goes right out the crack up there. And that counts as full shelter because it's overlapping. So it's, you know, it's not bad. I mean, it, it looks a little goofy from the outside, but it's not bad. You know, you got the smoke comes right out. Um, have no issues whatsoever. Smoke does not build up in here whatsoever. I don't even need the side uncovered. I just, because I expanded this out to put my uh, furnace in here. I haven't covered that back up yet because I'm probably going to expand out this way. Anyway. That's, that's neither here nor there, but I think this is the easiest way, so what you need to do that is one side. The side that the smoke is going to crawl up is going to be your 45 degree, and then the side that the smoke is not going to be on will be a 26 degree roof. That way it's kind of offset and it has a nice little gap. Um, I don't have a ladder set up, but you can kind of see it from the side here. So you got your 26 degree here, and then these are your 45 degree roofs. Roof, roof. Anyway, so I thought that was a nice, easy, low cost uh, design for when you're just getting started out. That was the best I could come up with. I was trying like, you know, like a raised middle part. So if, if it could go up either side and then it would just kind of come out the middle. I was thinking about like a chimney, like building some type of chimney structure to capture all the roof in the top and then put it coming out. I'll do all that fancy stuff later when you're just getting started a game. It's it's very difficult to do that. Um, it's like this is a very nice noob friendly way of getting going. You know, stacking your fire up. You got your fire buff going. I got comfort level four. You know, it gives me my nice rested buff that's really helpful with your uh, stamina regen and whatnot. So. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I'll do a video showing you how to stack these two. I'll just, I don't want to do a whole big long video. I just want to do a couple quick four or five minute videos. And uh, so if you want to see how I've stacked my chests here, um, I'll do a quick video now of showing you how to do that too. Check my channel. Make sure you subscribe so you get notification when I do new videos. And I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.